<laughs> we should remake. We should remake Quentin Tarantino movies, but with little people in them. <laughs> and it's completely the same, but it's just little people starring. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> hmm. You ever drank your own pee? Hi guys, welcome to the new segment, Annie Wood's Quick Culture Catch-Up. Hooters just announced that they are closing down 40 locations. Between this and Red Lobster filing for bankruptcy, there hasn't been a more vigilant attack against crabs since the Kardashians endorsed lasering off the luscious locks between their legs. <laughs> Justin Timberlake got a DWI in the Hamptons amid rumors of low sales on his world tour. This is a great reminder to be very, very specific when you manifest. When he asked the universe for more tickets, he should have clarified he didn't mean the kind you get from a ginger junior officer after you roll through a stop sign smash on Smirnoff martinis. <laughs> A new Florida law will let women have C-sections outside of the hospital. Now when strippers give birth, they don't even need to leave the club. <laughs> and they can preserve their for the pole. <laughs> they didn't specify which sharp tool has to be used, so screw doctors. Just get your hairdresser sister to slice you up with her scissors. <laughs> Mindy Kaling announces her third child at age 45. So to my mother-in-law, I say, back up. I have five more years to birth a baby. <laughs> Will Smith is set to perform his new single at the BET Awards. That song better seriously slap. <laughs> and if it doesn't, it better at least rock. <laughs> Florida family sues NASA after their home is hit by debris from a space station, which proves that even some of the smartest scientists society has also think it's okay to litter in Florida. <laughs> The family is seeking $80,000 in damages, which is the most Florida amount of money I've ever heard of. <laughs> a piece of the wing from the shuttle apparently came down and cut open the stomach of a pregnant teenager that was inside the house, which is now being dubbed as the first ever Sarasota C-section. <laughs> and that was the Annie Wood Quick Culture Catch Up. Hello, Woody Shooties Cooties. Insanies, Stannies, Fannies. Welcome to Annie Wood episode 86. And you will not be 86 from this show. You're here with us. We'll never run out of you. Please, uh, if you have any problems with things being bleeped out, take it up with... <laughs> not me. Todd. <laughs> take it up with Todd. No, uh, we are, uh, you know, in a and dance, a beautiful dance with the algorithm. So guys, we do have to bleep the show. So if you are bothered by that, you have the option of paying $5 for the Patreon. You can also pay $20 if you want some fun giveaways that we have coming. And we also do on the Patreon, some live feeds and fun hangs and stuff like that. And we may be doing extended episodes soon. So join the Patreon. That's just patreon.com slash Annie Letterman for that stuff and extra goodies. Um, if you have a problem with the bleeping and also don't want to join the Patreon, you're going to have to scram. Now we got no other options for you, but I'm very excited to be on the road. You guys, I love doing stand up comedy. I am getting closer and closer to that special. So the set is tight and fun and also loose in a fun way as well. You can see me this weekend in Jacksonville, Florida, Friday and Saturday, June 16th or July 16th. I'm back at the comedy store with Annie Wood and friends. July 19th and 20th for my birthday. You can come see me in Irvine, California. The 25th and 27th of July, I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be in Toronto at the end of August, the 30th and 31st. September 12th, I'll be in Eugene, Oregon. September 13th and 14th, I'll be in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, October 10th, I'll be in Naples, Florida. October 11th and 12th, Tampa. Side Splitters, one of my faves. And October 18th and 19th, Blooming Bloomington, Minnesota at the House of Comedy. October 23rd, Chicago, Illinois. And November, I'll be in Boston, Massachusetts. I have not gone to Boston, but I'm going to be either the 22nd and 23rd. So come see me. We're Chicago, it feels like. What? I feel like we haven't been to Chicago in so long. Yeah, I haven't been to Chicago in a long time. But Boston, my nieces are there, and I never perform there because I'm always just huddling with my angels. Oh. But they got cell phones now, so Auntie has a little extra time. 
All it's right. going to be very fun. I can't wait. I'm very excited. We're adding more dates all the time. So keep checking AnnieLetterman.com slash shows and get your tickets. Welcome to Annie Wood. Welcome to Annie Wood, guys. Another solo edition. We're so excited to be here. I have some beef. Do you, ha you have some beef with your bride to be, your beautiful bride to be? I have beef with my bride to be. You have some, some, <laughs> some big beef with your beautiful bride to be. I have some bodacious big beef with my beautiful bride to be. <laughs> oh boy, do you? Oh boy, do you have some bodacious beef with your beautiful bride to be? What's my you beef? You let me fold laundry all day long. All day long. I'm teaching her a valuable lesson about getting chores done and feeling good after you get your chores done. I picked you specifically because I thought maybe <laughs> your Asian heritage would make you a little more like into laundry. Is that an Asian thing? I don't to know. To be like washing clothes I in a river? I have gotten one manicure. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a long laundry day. It was a ludicrously long laundry bag. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <coughs> I'm glad we did, because I'm wearing my All Saints t-shirt. It's All Taints. All Taints All Saints t-shirt. Check that out. Guys, it's have you bought these yet? They're online. You can get them, right? Yeah. Go to Annie Wood, or wait, go to AnnieLetterman.com, <laughs> and you can hit that merch button, and you can clickety-click and get yourself Or come to one of the shows, get a sign. Yeah, come to one of the shows. My Annie Wood and friends, I throw them out into the audience, too. So be fresh up on all of your Annie Wood trivia because y'all be slipping. Can I say something funny too? Is it about the laundry? It's about the all taints sure. kind of. Um, when I was waiting for you to get your spray tan. I did she it said after it's Juneteenth be, this year. And she said it was going to be 20 minutes. It turned out to be a little over an hour. She was but. late. She's not usually late. <laughs> she was late. But um, She was late. I'm even, waiting in the even car. Even heroes fall sometimes. My <laughs> queen spray tanner. She sprays J Lo. She sprays J Lo. Selena Gomez. I'm actually the only person of white descent of white descent that she sprays. She sprays a lot of bitches that are already brown, to be honest. <laughs> but I was in the car waiting for you to get out, and I saw a guy park in front of me. He got out, and he was wearing an All Saints one of these shirts. And I said, I should give him one of the All you Taints. Did, did you? I didn't. Something That's a great story. I love stories where someone <laughs> almost did something amazing and then didn't do it. I love that. I also have another. We're doing segments now in Annie Wood. We're, we're putting a little effort in here. E for effort. So if you guys like that, uh, the little bit that we had in the beginning. The quick, the quick quips. Write in the comments. Say how good it was. Say how, she, you, how amazing you want it was. More. How much you want of that. <laughs> you know, I used to have a talk show, everybody. I used to have my own talk show on E. I used to be a teleprompter. She would talk and talk and talk. Yes, I did. I prompted that teleprompter. I also had my first paying job in comedy was I used to do Bachelor recap videos for the show The Bachelor, which no one was doing yet. There wasn't like YouTube channels devoted to it anymore. To the, I was like forefront. There was this app called The Daily and it came with everyone's. It was when iPads first came out. And um it's so weird how fast technology has grown. So this was like the first iPad and there was an app that came on every single iPad was, it was owned by Rupert Murdoch. It was like a Fox oh news boy. app. He loved me. He used to be on, he loved me. Rupert? He loved me. Prince Ru? I could have been like, he could have been my Bill Belichick. <laughs> <laughs> I really blew it. I went like, I thought if I dated young and like not established that I would get someone that folded my laundry and I, so anyway, so I would do this thing and I would go in I'd watch The Bachelor live on Monday nights, and there was this guy that would, um, he would stay late. He was Asian. Did you watch with a pen and paper? Were you like- Yes, I did. Mm. I did. <laughs> I had a pen and paper I watched. In the commercial breaks, I would write a bunch of jokes. And then at the end, I would do my hair and makeup. They would put it on the teleprompter. What was the guy's name? This Asian guy. He was cute. He was, I've had a few Asian crushes. He was one. Roy Chang? It wasn't anyone you know. <laughs> Harris, oh, just made one up. Harris? person or something anyway i'll remember it but um so he would put the he was very mean to me that's why i liked him he was very he was like hurry up get the jokes so he would give me the jokes or i would give him the jokes he'd put them on the prompter i would do my hair and makeup put my outfit on and then i would just use the new studio like everyone was go had gone home except me and whatever the guy's name was and then he would edit it <laughs> that night he would edit it that night and it would come up 
they would come out that next morning and it was awesome. This guy should be a podcast producer. Well, he was mean, so yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of being abused by my podcast producers. <laughs> Very really, get a really. And can you find around. these videos online still? Well, if you do find them, <laughs> you have to remember it was a time where you could really run your mouth about things. Guys, we're getting into drinking pee. That's why Annie's drinking a <laughs> glass of pee right now. <laughs> guys, I learned it's good for your skin. I'm, I should have sprayed, uh, tanned my face more, but it's fine. No, if you do go back and look at those, I want you to watch them with the eye of someone that realizes the times that they were. Because I definitely said some things you don't say anymore. Ooh, there's some that bad words. That rhyme with my name. Oh, you said. Oh, I get it. Yeah. She said the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was a different time. It was a different time, but it was fun. I had it, and they they had me do a bunch of different ones. I did Dancing with the Stars. I did jokes. It was fun. Well, maybe we could do other recaps on the Annie. We'll Wood. do some recaps now that we we put effort in. <laughs> <laughs> now that we decided to put effort into the podcast. Um, we had a very pool, a pool centered. Oh yeah. Weekend. Now Todd and I we live we live with a pool. We have a pool. And we have not gone to that pool. We've lived here for four years. We, we have not touched, a toe. not a toe, <laughs> not a toe. We don't know if it's a cold pool, if it runs cold or hot. Or, yeah. We've never gone. We never laid in the chairs there. And even. we were in several pools this weekend. None were our pool still. We still have not done it. We're, we're our pool virgins. Today we were like, maybe we'll go by the pool. And instead, guess what I did? I folded laundry for my whole goddamn life. <laughs> It never ended. It never ended. It never ended. There's something with laundry. It just never ends. It never ends. Unless you're fully naked when you do it. And then the second you have to leave the house, the laundry's dirty again. No, it's like it, what they say, uh, death taxes in laundry. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's only uh, three things that could be uh So the only thing you're going to do is death? <laughs> As we know you didn't do your taxes and we know you didn't do my goddamn laundry. Well, here's the thing. I don't, Todd and I have different standards for each other too. So like when Todd does do the laundry, I want him to do, the only reason I wouldn't want him to fold my clothes is because I fold them in a special way. Yes, I folded them last time and she said, don't put them in my drawer. I'll put them away. And then they never got put away. But you were speaking to your mother today and explaining why I'm a mess. Because I have to go into the drawers, get the laundry out. I throw it all, I try it all on, I throw it around, and then all of a sudden the laundry has to be redone. Annie, when she gets ready, she is, it's like a cartoon character. You know when a cartoon character- A like, Tasmanian <laughs> disheveled. But you know when a, a cartoon character like goes into a drawer and they're like this, like, and clothes is flying all over the place? That's like Annie. That's how I get my steps. That's how my, my aura ring will be like, you have met your activity goals for the day. And I just put one outfit on. No, I have to try them on, I have to see it. I have like- I had it. I think it might have honestly been the Ozempic. I stopped shopping. Remember, I used to buy clothes like every day. Yeah, I that stopped was shopping. She, she for used clothes. to do that during her midnight spin. But now I have too many. I have too, now. I just spin. I have a spin app. I just spin, spin, spin. <laughs> but um, it's so fun. I've taken the spins literally, guys. <laughs> and that's gonna come into a segment that I'm gonna bring up in a second that actually Mike inspired when I was he was dropping on something really humiliating he was talking about earlier. <laughs> um, but. The I think that the semi-glutide made me not have like a shopping anxiety anymore. So now I want less clothes because it's like too much to fold, too much to fit into places. So I want less clothes, but I want to piece things together differently. So now I look at my wardrobe as like, what is a, is a print I haven't put with another print? What is a, oh. do I do baggy shirt, tight pants, baggy pants, baggy shirt, tight baggy pants, pants, tight shirt. Baggy pants, tight shirt. Oh, that's like a Fergie look. A Fergalicious. I, <laughs> I come pre-peed. My pants are pre-peed. <laughs> um, but so that's what happens. But I have to do the I fold my clothes in the Mori, the Marie Kondo way. Did you do did you boys, did this get to you guys? This was like I a I don't know. It, it, it was a, a craze that took over the nation for women, at least. I don't know if guys ever got into it, but it was a book called The Um Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And it was this little book by this woman, this Asian woman, Marie Kondo. And she was just like, it was all about taking all of your items. You would take all of your items in different categories. So you'd start with, I think you start with clothes. Take every article of clothing you have. You put it all in a pile. This is very dangerous for someone with ADD. Yes. It was 
problems finishing tasks. Yes. Very good at starting them. Yes. Very bad at the middle. I don't like this idea at all. Very (laughs) bad bad at the middle. I don't like this idea. Well, I've done parts, sort of done it already. I've done some sweep throughs. But anyway, so you take it all out and then you hold each object up. And so, like, say this is a shirt. I go, is this spark joy? You hold it and you go, it's not about whether you never wore it or anything. You go, does this spark joy in my life? These kids are banging downstairs. That's another They're segment. banging, guys. There's kids banging downstairs. No, Todd. <laughs> That's what not. you said. They're banging things. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're a nightmare. I've become like the old man neighbor. I'm like, I, I totally associate with that man now. But anyway, we'll get back to that because that's actually written in my notes to talk about on the kids. The neighbors. <laughs> I hate the neighbors and I'm going to trash them hard on this podcast. And they might find it because they're YouTube age. But so say this is like a t-shirt. I'm like, oh my God, I love this t-shirt. It sparks joy. I keep it. If I'm like, uh, I don't feel great about it. I throw it out. Okay. Or donate it. Donate trash into the trash can. Um, anyway, so, and then, but you, she has you fold them so you can see everything you have. So I fold them in these little squares and I put them in the, so if I put all of my, and Mike, tell me if you're with me on this. If I fold all my t-shirts like this with a little bit of whatever the print is, the graphic showing, I know which shirt it is. I don't have to pull it out and hold it up and be like, what shirt is this? And then if it's laid on top of each other, I had to pull the whole stack out. That's true. Or you just do this. You could. Take the one on top, you flip it up, and you go, oh, there's one underneath. And you flip that one Dad, down. You and just- you take the one underneath, and you flip that Dad. up. And you go, oh, that one's underneath, too. You put that one down. And you take the next one, and you go, oh, oh, that's a nice one. And you flip that one down. A lot of my shirts have bones in them. I can't be folding up and down. These have bones. Did you see? <laughs> Why do they have bones? And you put them corsets. in the wash. They're, they're clinking around the wash and the dryer. They're corsets. This is a scam. You know what I found in the dryer today? What? It was a $20 Money? bill just jammed into the side. I had to like rip, pull it out without ripping it. It was jammed in there. And what'd you do with it? Did you give it back to its rightful owner? I or did you pocket it? I flicked it in the trash. Did you pocket it? I said, it's all crimpled now. No one wants a crimpled $20 bill. This is how bill. Todd works now. This is how he operates. As I was folding laundry, Todd was throwing my money into the trash. <laughs> <laughs> he was throwing my crusty money into the trash. <laughs> no, I like to clean my money. It's a money laundering. Thing I did. Oh my god. Did you watch uh Ozarks? What's the movie? Yeah, yeah Ozarks. Oh, I got show. it for her. I it wasn't, know her. that wasn't the one I was thinking the other one. What other one? With the math. The math? Breaking bad. Breaking bad math. Oh. Don't I thought you we were talking about me. some Chinese movie or something. But anyway, so that's why I pulled these things, but I don't know what to do. I really thought in my life I had skipped the phase of, I thought I was going to go from being like a messy slob to being like a celebrity that has like live-in folders. And I thought my in-between while I was in my, my medium ground, I thought my handsome Asian husband would, would, would take up that part. But didn't, wait a second. Didn't you just say you didn't want me to put this stuff Why wouldn't you just look at how I fold it and fold it like that? I don't know how that is. I'll show you. (laughs) We're going to do lessons, a lesson in folding my laundry. Oh, a lesson in goodness. Laotian lovers. Ooh. If he wants to stay, if Lao Boy wants to stay. Lao Boy approved. Lao Boy. Lao Boy Todd. It's Lao Boy Todd. My little brother, his rapping name is Thai Boy Tim. <laughs> and By the I, way, he's one of two white rappers in the family. And then I, uh, I called him. I was like, "You know what a tie boy is, right?" <laughs> and he went, "No." And he went, "What? A guy that wears ties? <laughs> a young boy? A, a formal boy?" And I said, "Well, a tie boy is more like a girl with a little extra appendage, if you know what I mean." <laughs> that reminds me of a movie we saw. Ooh. That was a good movie. Love Lies Bleeding. Oh, my God. Did and we love let this movie? let me tell you about this <laughs> movie. Oh, let's be honest about this film. Love Lies Bleeding. Guys, if you haven't watched it, I highly love recommend it. Love Lies Bleeding. I immediately got my period watching it. I went, <laughs> I, went I got to hit the gym. And I got to shove it. it did make I, me and I got to cram a tan because this is where love lies bleeding. <laughs> it was good. Todd. Okay. First of all, Todd picked the movie because he is a lesbian hunter, basically. I'm not no he hunter. Lusts, he lusts for lady lesbians. I ain't no lesbian hunter. I just, Kristen Stewart, she's a great actress. 
<laughs> By the way, that type of lesbian for you to be into is so funny. Like a Chrissy, boyish she looking was like lesbian. A, yeah, like a drug addict, like boyish. She had a lesbian. mullet. She was like, she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing here? She's like, I love you. I want to. See how I much I can stretch you. you. That was like, that was actually like a she was been, like she it was, was sexual. eating some holes. You know what I mean? I don't even know which holes she was sticking the fingers. Oh in. my goodness! It could have been either or. There was a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> but it was very. There were moments of surrealism, and it was really cool. I didn't think it was going to happen. It was good. But it was basically an advertisement for steroids. I was like, I got to get on steroids. Annie, like the big big woman. I thought she was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was. Bodaciously beautiful. <laughs> Bodybuilding. Bitch. Bodyqua. <laughs> no, it was really a fun movie. I thought it was great. I didn't expect it to be like, we had um, Ed Harris. Yeah, yeah. Who, by the way. He's the best. The Lord named him Harris. I mean, can you imagine? Being named Ed, Harris and no hair? Ed, Ed Hairless. But he had like a, they gave him like hair extensions going down from his like, his bald spot. It was really awesome. Yeah, and he Everyone pulled it off. Everyone was great in it. Dave Franco. Dave Franco was good. The undisgraced Franco brother. The undisgraced. Do you think he's so excited? He's like, I'm getting all these parts my brother would have gotten. He did it right. This is what we got to do in Hollywood now. You just have to marry and just be a good husband now. And you like get better at like acting. It's Which really I weird. know is not the reason a lot of men go. <laughs> men go into Hollywood. They're like, I don't I get to like marry a 13 year old? I thought that's like, like, everyone's always like, what about Elvis? What about the great balls of fire guy? It's like. Those baby girls didn't have no Twitter. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. But didn't um, Elvis Presley's wife say she was like unhappy about that? Priscilla? On? Yeah, it wasn't Priscilla like. She was just like groomed. When they made that movie, she was in support of the stance or was she like protective? I don't know. I guess we could find out. You want to Mike, you want to tip look, tap Mike? and try for once to when we say something, <laughs> maybe like pull it up or. Listen, if I did that without asking, because I'd be like, where'd we go? What the <laughs> Well, that is true because we don't. We'd be true. looking at. We'd uh, be like, do squirrels wear see, helmets? Uh, was Priscilla angry? Well, she's dead, isn't she? No. We want to know her if Priscilla daughter, was angry at away. the Priscilla movie. Her daughter passed away. Oh, her daughter. That's right. Elvis's daughter passed away. That's right. He said, "Oh, mama." He but said, it was oh, weird because mama. they all oh, did get enough work. They all did get it. Was furious. Was furious. Okay. She said, what the hell are you making this movie for? Wait, no, that's not what it says. Oh. They left the Graceland Estate value to... Oh, no. Oh, this... oh. oh yeah, my no, this is God. Not right. What's Graceland? Why did you type that in? <laughs> uh... Say Priscilla. He said, was, movie, it, was, was it Priscilla angry, angry about... about Graceland? And then it came up and said she was, but it was because Lisa Marie left Gra uh, Graceland to her daughter instead of... Priscilla. Priscilla, which by the way, Priscilla, she didn't think she was going to, you were going to outlive her. <laughs> Priscilla, don't be a bitch. We thought that it was just going to be transferred over to her anyway, very soon. But because she was 13 when she dated Elvis, she's only 37 years old right now, Priscilla. She's you know, only 37? She's 37. She's younger than me. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You ever drank your own pee? It's so good. You know what they say, the uh, the yellower the fruit, the sweeter the moot. The two. The two. <laughs> now, what I like about drinking, you put a little, I don't like room temp. You know, it's a little hotter than room temp when it comes out steaming. So you put a little ice in it. But the problem with our <laughs> ice, the problem with our ice in our household, okay, in a reptile household, that you reach in, you think you're grabbing an, an ice, you're grabbing a mice, okay? <laughs> it ain't ice, it's mice. There's so many, for, there's more for a, per capita. And that freezer is run by mice. I mean, it's all mice. <laughs> well, There's like some frozen turkey burgers I was never going to eat anyway. For some reason, our ice tur is like yellow when it comes out. It makes oh, it's no probably because probably the moisture is being absorbed by all of the animals that are in there. They're in their own bags. I don't just have animals just lying around the freeze. The freeze. <laughs> the freeze. <laughs> the freeze. <laughs> So, but boy, did we have a fun weekend but boy, today. Boy, did he. You just deleted it and didn't look at it? Uh, we don't need to know no, if Priscilla we, was mad. Come on. All right. Was Priscilla angry about, about the movie? The movie Priscilla. Very concerned about the movie Priscilla saying, I think it's right on to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. She praised the film director, Sofia Coppola, which I didn't oh, know that was her. Okay, I didn't know that was for her. For her sensitivity in handling the story, which is basically large on her 1985 memoir. Elvis and Me. 
Hmm. Which is actually not okay. Oh, so it's based off the book that she wrote. Oh my god. Did she write it in crayon? How old was she in 1985? <sighs> Young whippersnapper. She's old. That's, That's interesting. I was watching a thing today about um what the hell's the girl's name? She was the little dancer. She was do you remember back in the day? She was in like Cheaper by the Dozen. There was this little girl that wore pigtails. She had like black hair. And she was the best dancer. And she was in um the Missy Elliott video and stuff. We were just watching a thing. She did an interview. And it was like she was the best dancer. She put on videos and she was like <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is coming from, some, from someone who was kicked out of ballet at four. <laughs> um, she was a good dancer, but I can't remember what her name is. But she was just saying that she, she's gay. And she said that she was kicked out of Disney Disney for being gay. Yeah, and people were like, because a lot of people have like a preconceived notion that Disney is like so woke and they're making everything gay. But if you actually sit and think about it, what Disney movie has any gay people in it? Go. I was going to say it's, it's Disney, not Disgay. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Is there any Disney movie? I think Disney Sebastian movie? from The Little Mermaid was gay. Oh, my. Why? Because he said, Unda da He was singing a lot. They all sing. What about Timon and Pumbaa? Who's Timon? Moan. <laughs> Lion King. But dude, we're getting off brand. We're going dark into the side parts. The comb. Who is it? What? Who is that part? Do you and know the Lion that part? King? Do you know who that is? Character it like is? the Warhog? It's about as big as Sebastian the Crab and Little Mermaid. They're just like side uh, assistant but characters. You don't understand. Kind of. Little Mermaid was for us girls. Word. And Lion King, Lion King was King for was the for blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Black people love Lion King. Is that wrong to say? They love it. Guys, if you're black and you love Lion King, <laughs> write in the comments how much you love Lion King. Well, I want you to watch that before you watch my Bachelor recap videos because that's like way worse than anything I do. <laughs> that's way worse. I don't know that to be. I've never discussed that. What? I've never been like, hey, in a group of like, I never have had like a... A control group where I go, okay, bring in just black people and people of color and let's see which Disney movie. No, no, no. Watch. It's when I was like really young and I go hang out at my black friend's house. They were they always all watching had Lion, King. Lion King PJs. <laughs> they all love Simba and Mufasa. That's because that was the closest to like a person of color as the character. Like Aladdin is like Gaza. It is, no, Aladdin <laughs> is like Iraq or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're going a whole new world. Oh my god! They're instead of a um, carpet ride, they're on a flag. No, what's the thing that they flew into the waves? To the what? Into the raves. What do they fly into the raves? A parachute. No, what was the thing? It wasn't a parachute. Parasailing into the rave. Anyway, we're not talking about the stuff. That's and that's my take, and we're we're moving on. But um, yeah, Aladdin was for the Arabic. But I, I'm just saying there's no gay Disney stuff. There's and always a think questionable so, the donkey in Shrek. Is Shrek Disney? But there's no openly gay. There, like everyone says Disney's so woke. Everything's woke about Disney, but there's no The teacup gay. was gay as hell. He was not gay. He was straight as an arrow. Beauty and the Beast. That was actually trans. <laughs> that was why. No, it wasn't. How do you know? Because the beast was always a man. Snow he transitioned. White? Those dwarves were. Oh, nice. Those guys were chill. <laughs> they were they all. They were just bros. They were all, 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 all. <laughs> they were just guys that smoked the ganj with each other. That was called a 39 with them. <laughs> oh, so my short. goodness. Um, no, they were just go, 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 go in each other. I don't know. You don't think so? I don't think so. I give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Who were they banging? There were no girl ones. <laughs> what? Were there girl seven and the dwarves? I mean, Snow, what were they doing to Snow White while she was sleeping? Just letting her. <laughs> they, all, they all live together, those guys, right? Were they doing the old switcheroo? <laughs> they, were, they were doing the old. 
<laughs> They're doing the old, I'm Buck and I'm here to. F- um, kill yeah. Bill. Why were they like preserving her? Because they wanted to make sure she was. Did you guys get that in Tarantino reference? I did. <laughs> Quentin Tarantini is what they called those guys. We should remake. We should remake Quentin Tarantino movies, but with little people in them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's completely the same, but it's just little people starring and it's yeah, everything's yeah, the same. It's just Wouldn't Bill you love it. to see a Lucy Lou? Wouldn't you love to see them get in the fight and it slice off the head? Oh my god. This is brilliant. I I'm gonna should I hit up my friend John Ferguson? Hit him up. I actually I'm supposed to do content with him. This I love Hit John. him up after. Look, we left the crunchy hair back in middle school. Put down that crispy gel and get the sculpting paste from Lola V. This is actually the restorative conditioner, but there is a sculpting paste. Lola V was founded by our hair queen, our hair girly, the mother of all hair, Jennifer Aniston. She's the hair goddess herself, so you know it's going to be good. The sculpting paste gives you all day medium hole styling without the stiffness. And it was actually inspired by Jennifer Aniston's time on Friends. The sculpting paste, not only does it make my hair feel firm in a way that's not crunchy and disgusting, Ooh. but it makes me feel closer to Jennifer Aniston. I feel like I'm dating Jennifer Aniston at this point. You do? I do. Well, then it's, I do. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're just friends. <laughs> oh. The sculpting paste is powered by Lola V's Bond technology using pomegranate sterols. Bond technology like uh, Ross and Rachel on Friends. They oh, have that it bond. bonds together like Ross and Rachel. <laughs> it's naturally derived and outperforms traditional synthetic or animal derived materials. Simply put, you're going to love it. Unlock beautifully behaved hair at lolav.com. As a loyal Annie Wood listener, Get an exclusive 15% off your entire order when you use the code AnnieWood at checkout. That's 15% off your order at L-O-L-A-V-I-E dot com with the promo code AnnieWood. Please note only one promo per order and discounts can't be combined. Support the show and tell them we sent you. Your hair will thank you. We put the L-O-L in Lola V. Okay, I actually learned something you can do to see if people are your friend. What? You text them, friend, friend, friend. I saw this on a clip on a fake YouTube. You know how there's fake podcasts? <laughs> it was on one of the fake podcasts where you could tell it wasn't a real podcast because the conversation flow was so fake. Yeah, yeah. But what they said is you, to find out someone's your real friend, you text them. I'm going to text Tim Dillon and see what he responds. You what text you them, him? friend. Friend, friend, and then you say, what's a number between one and 10? Oh my God. He's going to be like, he's going to be like, what is what the saying? hell are you? But here's the thing. I'm one of his only few friends. So he has to, <laughs> he has to forgive me. He has to forgive me for putting him into my And nonsense. what is he supposed to respond? Whatever number he writes back. He subconsciously read friend, friend, friend is how he votes me. Eight. If it's over seven, they're your true friend. Really? Oh! He's my true friend! (laughs) Oh my God. That's crazy. If they said if it's seven or under, they hate you. They're like, they're they're hating you. Text Willie. Will do. Todd, who, do you have any friends that would be up right now? Todd, Josh Potter. Oh, baby, Chris will be up. He's gonna. Get, he's not even gonna play along. He's gonna be like, like a Tom Farrington voice or something. Subconsciously, they read friend, 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 and then they're thinking about friendship, and then they pick a number from one to ten. They're not even. I'm so happy that I would have been so sad if Tim was using me. <laughs> if we found out this whole time. I sent mine to Willie. He was using <laughs> me for my vagina. <laughs> I'm still on the Quentin Tarantini movies. He's a good yeah, idea. I not, wait, did I not just come up with the best That's idea? That's a genius. That's a genius and idea. it's not like a porn or anything. Nothing's different. Nothing's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dialogue's well, completely the same. What about stuff like, Everything's the like same. grab my wallet, like the one that says small mother on it. <laughs> <laughs> a Django Quentin Unchained Tarantine. with all small. The Jangy. <laughs> 
the jingly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy with that response. Whew. All right. Well, I'm waiting for mine. Yeah, I'm like, by the way, it's Tim, my only Mike's friend. Mike's not even going to get a response. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else can we text? When I went back to um, Jersey with Todd, one of his family members told me something that was going on with her. I didn't sleep for three days. And it's none of my business. She could have easily not told me I never would have known or anything. It's a fixable issue. That's right. Did not sleep for days. I was calling his mom like, have you tell are you worried? It's crazy. I can't start worrying about your family or I'll be worried for a while. There's a lot of people. Let's just say a lot of my family's uh, lives were ruined by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> by dark rabbit holes in YouTube. <laughs> Going down the rabbit hole a little too deep. Ah. <laughs> but they also, the thing about them loving YouTube is that they do watch the show. So we support them and we're very happy for them. Peace on earth. And if you think you're the one we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Satu. Amen. Satu. <laughs> Um, digging my own grave here, but you guys are going to love it. Willie says four. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Willie. Just message me, I just be like, ah. <laughs> I'm going to send him Wait, this clip. We, okay, so this is a segment I wanted to do. I wanted to do sad brags. Okay, this is inspired by me overhearing Mike bragging about... Um, how he used to do, what did you used to be on Dirt motocross? Bikes? Oh, was that bragging? God damn, dude. You got to be so careful it's around this It's a sad this brag. It's a sad brag. I have a sad brag too, so it's not, you're in a safe space. Okay, cool. It's just us. <laughs> and Todd's family. <laughs> so, do you want to tell the story that you were telling Todd? Well, the story. All Your the, big accomplishments. I don't have any big accomplishments. What oh, is? You uh, used to actually do something and oh, then yeah, you quit I, actually doing it and started playing the I game. I grew up racing motocross. It's dangerous and expensive and I wasn't. And cool it, and yeah. awesome and badass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so cool. I right? don't do that anymore. So I, I've gotten pretty good at some uh, computer games, some motocross simulators and stuff. <laughs> And they're very Do you know what I like about this? You have the same trajectory of someone that got really, really injured doing motocross right. and had to quit. And they're like, the only thing I have left is doing this, like, the simulation of it. But you just <laughs> quit. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, it's like, if it's not gonna, if it's not, gonna, I basically sold the bikes to go to college. It's like, I wanted to, like, go pro and make a career out of it, but I wasn't that fast. I don't, didn't suck, but I'm not and like And then the you best. went to college yeah. for what? For business and for. Really? Yeah, I didn't finish college, but... How long did you go? I have, like, two quarters left. I could probably do it online. And it haunts you that you didn't finish? Or no? No, it's something... It's actually the opposite. There's something about, like, uh, I think, like, life going well in the end without having to have gotten that done would feel like I beat it. Uh, very few people that I respect went to college for the full term. There we go. Took college for the full term, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh-huh. They said, abort, abort this mission. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I because, ain't got to finish no college. No, I said people I respect. Um, <laughs> I didn't finish no college. No, I finished college. It took me so long, though. It was like not finishing. I stretched that out. But I, was, I felt so... I had so much... That was the part I was asking if you had, like... If you beat yourself up about... Because I was... Couldn't sleep. I was like, I have to finish. I have to finish. Yeah, I feel like I have, like... Um... I don't know. I have something with like school. Like I have Anxiety, nightmares yeah. of being in like high school and not finishing. I have a reoccurring nightmare of being in high school and thinking like, like, oh, I have to do this because I failed and now I have to go back. To I high have school. nightmares and flashbacks of high school and the teachers finishing on me. <laughs> oh, um, how did I not see that coming? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. High school was so not a real school for me that I don't have high school anxiety. There, there was no one being like, you have to finish a paper. There was no one. Everyone was like, please lay down here. Shh. I don't, but college, my teachers actually wanted me to do stuff. My professors were like, come on. Yeah. You need to I do know. something. So I, I have mean, anxiety. I would have, my nightmares would be in college. They wouldn't be in high school. But I feel like I haven't, I never had like high school anxieties either. But for some reason, all my dreams are in high school. That's really cute. Running around the hallways being like, what is my schedule? I don't even remember my schedule. I don't even know what class I'm supposed to be in right now. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm getting in trouble. No, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> and then I think like, wait, fuck this. I could just leave school right now. 
Which you could. Do you remember when you were like a teenager <laughs> yeah. and you still were under your parents' supervision? <laughs> but you realized I still can do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I could just break the law. I could literally do when you realize like I will have consequences, but I could still do anything I want. I remember sitting up in bed and being like, I can call my mom a bitch. I just literally remember where I was sleeping and I just sat up and I went, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can do it. I'll definitely get yelled at, but I can, I can suffer the yelling. Yeah, yeah. Have no, the power. I, I, I remember bitch. feeling that. Like, okay, if I smoke weed in the house, I won't get arrested. My dad will just yell at me. All right, well, I'll just smoke weed in the house. I used to smoke cigarettes in the house. It's, I actually have wow. guilt. I have to. Res- I have to. I used to smoke cigarettes. I've got to release what? the guilt because I yeah. do feel. <laughs> you oh, kids whoa. are fucking yes. nuts. That's really romantic. Open the window by the bed. And- <sighs> Oh That's my god! Nuts. Well, I had a roof. <laughs> That's crazy. I had a roof. I actually lived in a young adult like romance novel. I had like a roof, like a Hey Arnold. Not room. a Hey Arnold. Maybe like a Doug. The college years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where it's not college, but it's just a little older. It's a little more yeah, mature. Yeah. yeah, pork chops dead. So I had. He died of a um, fentanyl overdose. <laughs> so I had. I lived on the second floor, and I. In the winter, they would let me smoke in the house because it was too cold for me to go on the roof. But I would climb out onto the roof and you had the view of the backyard, all the stars. You could see kind of like a little bit of the park. Oh. We lived like right behind the park. And my next door neighbor who I had an on and off again thing with lived like catty corner to where the roof. So I could see into his house, not into it, but I could see towards it. And you look in. I used to always look. I had a habit for years. Where I would always look over. To see if he was outside. Was it's like a like, Disturbia oh. setup, sort of. Remember that movie? Yeah. But I don't remember it. But I remember it. But I don't remember it. That it is like a dreamy, a, a dreamy teenage setup. It was so, and it was so cute. And we would, there was like, our other neighbors had a hammock. And we'd like make out on the hammock and walk down to, and get people to buy cigarettes at the gas station. And we would sneak out. I found cigarettes in my older brother's, which is so funny, my older brother's drawer. And he never smoked. But I remember... Finding them when I was 12 and thinking, like panicking, being like, my brother's bad. And he had I, what looked like weed or like drugs. So for years I would go and I kept looking at it and be like, my brother's bad. He's a druggie. And I would close the drawer and I would leave again. And I would listen to his Pearl Jam album and then I would leave. On a feeling. No, it was. It was, was, no, it was, um, it was um, can't find a better man. Can't find a better man. But she anyway, lies in cell. She's, she's in love with him. him. Can't, can't find a better man. man. Anyway, yeah. so I was like, I was like, my brother's a druggie. He's going to die. Like I was just so, you know, you're just 12 and you just haven't quite become. Uh-huh. 13. So then I become 13 and I go, oh my God, my brother, there's cigarettes in the house. Yay, I can go find them. So again, there were Newport, there were soft pack Newport lights. So I went up, I got these Your stale ass cigarettes. Stoves but here's the thing, 13? I have an affinity for stale cigarettes because stale menthol cigarettes, they bring me back to a childhood, like moments that are core memories. But anyway, so I went into his drawer and then I looked and it was a rock. He just had a rock and it looked like, it was like a stone. That you get at like the Franklin and Institute. And you thought it was like a crack rock? I had thought it was like weed or something. I wasn't looking because I was so scared to know what it was because I was afraid my brother was a druggie. And then just <laughs> a, the amount, like just the, a matter of four months, maybe a year. And all of a sudden I was like, let me get those cigs. So then I stole those cigarettes one by one. And my neighbor and I would, Matt, would, we would sneak out. We would be on the phone. We'd call call waiting or not call waiting. We would call movie phone. Which I don't know if you remember. You might be too. Young I do. Part, okay? I remember. We would call movie phone, and you would wait. He would call me, so it would you go hear to call all waiting. the show times and everything. Yeah, so you, it would be call waiting. It would beep so that it wouldn't ring in the house. I'd pick up. We'd make our plan. All right, let's meet. We'd always pick the worst time. We'd be like, let's meet at six thirty in the morning. We would wait so long, so we would sleep not for one minute. Wait up all night to the point where when we were coming back, our parents were already up. It was like, then we had to like explain, like pretend like we were just coming from the basement or whatever, but we would go make out and smoke cigarettes. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? That's you were just so in good. utero then. No, my, my <laughs> cigarettes, uh, I. But cigarettes were by the tennis court. Oh, I just. I lived so downstairs cool. and right across my door was my grandfather's room and he would just hot boxes room with ciggies okay he would just... now imagine you're a family that doesn't smoke there's no grandfather like that 
The, the grandmother that smoked died young, okay? So there's a myth of a grandmother that was bad and smoked, but you have this Quaker family that's, that never really, no one drinks really, there's no bad things. And then all of a sudden you have a 14 year old daughter that hot boxes her room. <laughs> the dog would come out reeking of cigarettes. My brother's like, Pinky's gonna die from secondhand smoke. <laughs> You're killing her, you're gonna give her lung cancer. And I was like, shut up. Nerd. You losers, you posers. <laughs> you just call people posers that weren't being posers, a poser. And then, but the roof was the coolest because I would sit on the roof. You could hear like all of the, the cicadas and the crickets and stuff. And um, just look out at pitch black and uh, smoke cigarettes and write poetry and stare at my crush. Oh my goodness. And my dad would come home from, he would walk back from the train station from work. And he was always like, it's just was so cute. You sitting up there. He's like, it never occurred to me that you were just a juvenile delinquent chain smoking cigarettes. He thought you were just up there just he hanging out. I was just out. like looking at the stars. Your dad doesn't know that people on roofs, they're up to no good. I know. Also, they should be like, can you get off the roof? You might fall yeah, through the roof. Did you continue smoking what you'd found in your brother's drawer? Like, did Newports become your first smokes? I did smoke Newports, yeah. Dude, Bianca Ooh. started on Newports, too. I can't believe it. That, she's cool, then. My she's very cool. My <laughs> friend started coughing up blood from Newports, and I was like, oh, boy. There was always that myth. I that never myth. actually had the person. Yeah. Well, also, Newports, you didn't, you didn't get, like, your pick of the type of Newport you wanted. It was whatever the old lady that agreed to buy you the cigarettes was getting you or the old man. So it was like random people at the store. You would be like, hey, we buy me cigarettes. And they would because we lived in a trashy neighborhood. It was like a nice neighborhood. But if you walked, our neighborhood was like dependent on the block. <laughs> One of our neighbors here, she moved away and we realized we both grew up in Wincote. And I was like, I was in the cute part. She was like, I was not in the cute part. <laughs> I was like, other side of the tracks, baby. But they... Um, but so you would just have to get whatever pack someone would get you. So there, for some reason, old ladies love to give you soft pack Newport 100s. So it wasn't just Newport. You would be smoking for five hours. You'd be smoking five hours. got the little Coke thing in the band. Newport had a lot of mystery to it. They're like, why the is story? that there? Because you could put little Coke what in it. What was the little, thing? Get a little gummy. Parliament. Parliament. Oh, that's Parliament. Yeah, you're right. I you're smoked right. those. Two. You sound like such a loser. <laughs> poser. I'm He's a, a poser. poser. He didn't even smoke. It was his Can grandfather's I... cigarettes. What did your grandfather smoke? Like Paul Mall? Oh, what did he smoke? He might have smoked Parliaments, actually. Parliaments were ruled. You ever see Basic? Mm. My grandparents smoked Basics. Mm. And did you, was it Newport, uh, the menthol ones or the red ones? Never red. Yeah, red is the they're regular ones. I couldn't even believe they sold those. Yeah, that's they're disgusting. It's the worst regular smoke them. you can get. Can I bring something a off up a little off topic? Mm -hmm. Thank you for. By the way, thank you for asking. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Annie Wood. Um, last week you said um, get out of the, the house. No, you said um, you said oh it's um, you were like I'll never. It's weird that I'll never date a black guy. And someone in the comment went. What? It was actually kind of said, like, why wouldn't she date a black guy? Because I'm married. I, know, I, don't, I don't think they knew. Oh, <laughs> they were, that's so sad. I no, I didn't mean so that. So I wanted you to be like, oh, Guys, no. Guys, I didn't mean that. I just never, <laughs> I wish I had tasted the rainbow before I got with my man. Oh, or the Skittles. Or the Skittles, the Skittles, I don't know. That's funny. I'm in the same boat with that. I kind of yeah. feel like sad. I'm like, oh. Yeah, like I'm pumped. To, it's like, how could I be sad to think I've found the one? But it's like, it's at least sort of a shame that I never, that I never Never went black once before that. I know, and it's not like it just wasn't. It never happened in the right. It just never fell into place. It wasn't on purpose. Well, it wasn't in like a Philly way. <laughs> it wasn't like by my dad's recommendation. I say she took the grape skittles out. <laughs> I made them only have purple M and M's in my rider. Yeah, no. Um, oh, that's really sad that someone thought that. I know someone commented that, and then Aww. I was like, just kind of sad. That's sad. <laughs> but she would if she wasn't uh, married to the love of her life. <laughs> I come home and I'm real stretched. He's going to go, what happened? I go, well, the, the opportunity arose. <laughs> her legs are just really long. I'm bull legged. Long? <laughs> they stretched my legs out? <laughs> No, that's sad. You want to comment them? They're like, no, I just said the. No, you can watch and see, <laughs> unless you do go by. I can't believe she's not going to have sex with me. That's what's funny too about it that he th that he yeah, was like, yeah. but I've been watching. 
waiting to have sex with you. Yeah, what the hell? But wait, you're saying you're never going to have sex with me? This random person <laughs> writing on your YouTube? It's like, what have I been putting this time in for? <laughs> like, oh my God, I've been watching, waiting for you to... What watching. Up? Waiting, the, the clock cock. is four o'clock. It's, it's got, got to start. start. Tell me, <laughs> take it black. It's better than this Asian she hack. She opens the floor. She opens her legs. <laughs> she rolls he bowls over. over. <laughs> Todd's just asleep as he bangs her over. She says he's in love no. with him. We can't, can't find, find a, a blacker, blacker man. man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Blacker man. Um, okay, so back to okay, so to the neighbors. We got a bunch of these teenage kids in our neighborhood. Oh boy. I had a next door neighbor who moved into where my crush lived, or that lived there before my crush. He was an old man. He's mean to us. What's his name? I don't, the old man is what we called Eugene. him. Eugene? We called him the old man. I have no clue what his name was. We were so disrespectful to him. We called him the old man. Like, hey, the old man, can you pass us the ball back? He hated us. He was pissed when our ball went into his yard and stuff. I understand that man now. What else was he going to do? Invite us in? I knew Let I... us play in his yard? <laughs> These boys are teaching me a valuable lesson, and that is to appreciate the old man. He was in the evening of life and he was dealing with these punks in his neighborhood, throwing shit in his yard, running around, probably trying to prank him, get him to say stuff. I walked to the car today, tonight, the younger brother of the annoying kid was in there by himself and he went, yo, let me get those fireworks. No one else is there. I ghosted the fuck out of a 12 year old. I ghosted him. I pretended I didn't see him, hear him. They get nothing from me. Nothing. Well, because you used to sit and talk to him for so long. I wouldn't long. sit and talk to him. They saw me crash my car. I'd be and like, I was, get in the car, do? woman. I said, Annie was sitting there talking to him. And I said, get in the car, woman. And they went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they gave the same reaction to when I crashed my car. They went, ooh. They went, ooh. But they said, should woman. know to back up. Back up. I was like, listen, I'm not from this stupid generation. I talk to a woman like I, my father talked to women. I'm sure their father did too. That's why they're living in an apartment building. <laughs> why do they know about the fireworks? Because uh, I crashed my Tesla into the wall <laughs> and they saw it. And then they were looking in the car. They were like jumping around. They were like hype men for yeah, my car Yeah, they were crash. like a bunch of like monkeys they were so jumping annoying. around the car. Oh, that would really bug like, me so too. So Todd's like, you were talking to them. I'm like, what was I going to do? Drag my, the bumper down the no, street? No, but after me? a while later, you would, whenever they're out there, you're like, you little shits. And they'd be like, What's going on, my mind? You'd sit then and Then they talk, knocked on the door and, and it's over. Like, and then they knocked on our door the other day. I didn't day. sit and talk. They keep asking us for fireworks. Like, we're going to give kids fireworks. And by the way, I'm about to. I'm about to be like, yes. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And tell the cops that came from Annie Letterman. And I'll hold, go to prison for this. These are the type That's of what fireworks. I told them. That's what I told them. That's my joke on stage. Don't steal my joke. Um. <laughs> well, I guess grape minds think alike, huh, guys? Grape minds. <laughs> Soda. I'm coming for you guys when we break up because you stole my joke. <laughs> uh, listen, I've had enough of these kids because here are the options. You don't want to be cool with them. I don't want to be cool with children. You kind of did at first. I was saving face. They were making fun of me for crashing my car. <laughs> I was in a traumatizing experience in front of them. There, I couldn't get away from them. It wasn't like I could just drive away. I tried to, and they're like, no, ma'am, it's f***ed up. <laughs> and now they're always out there. They've not, they were never out there that much. No, they always were, but I never saw they them. never were like I'm going to start going like this us. to them. I'm going to start going like this to them. Put it on me. I'm going to start going, I'm going to tell your dad that you and your friends touch each other. <laughs> Don't make jokes like that even. No, I am about to be like, you're you're, I'm ratting on you. If you bring up fireworks one more time, I'm going to go to your dad and say you're harassing me. I'm going to say I saw you harass some old man down the street. You're pushing him. You pushed him off his thing. What's his thing? His wheelchair or his, his little thing. walker. <laughs> his horse. He's riding a horse. Oh, but I'm done with these kids. These fucking kids. So annoying. They just annoyed the f*** out of me. I wanted to talk about Allison Stoners, the dancing girl who said that she got fired from Disney. And then she said she was saying, this is what I wanted to bring up. 
she said in this interview, she was like, you know, I used to always say I chose this because everyone would, I guess, come down on her parents for getting her into Hollywood when she was, she started when she was three, I guess. She's like, no, no, I always asked. I wanted to be a part of Hollywood. And then she's like, now as an adult, I realize. Don't listen to me. I was three. <laughs> I was three. I was three was old. I was like, I want to be a star. <laughs> but I was thinking about that. I'm like, if you do just have an insanely talented kid who loves being in front of people and like hamming it up, do you not take them to the auditions? I know. I had a niece that we were trying to get her into the audition. Or not a niece, uh, a cousin. that I know. A cousin. Which one? But anyway, so I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking, one of the complaints when I was a kid watching TV shows is they always had, like, 90210, they had this character, Andrea, who was obviously, like, a 75-year-old woman that was playing a teenager. I mean, she looked like she was 45. She looked so old. Will you pull up um, 90210, the cast? Which one? Okay. It was, okay, the one Gabrielle. Do you see how much older she is than everyone? <laughs> even, at, <laughs> even now, you're like, she was supposed to be the same age as Tiffany Amber Thiessen. She looks like everyone's parents. She was crazy. She looked like that back then. Can you look them up, like, what they looked like then? You know, like, we can scroll down. I'm sure it's going to be there. If you no, scroll down. No, this is like oh. just the cast. Seth Green was in 90210. Do images, yeah. Okay. Click on that. Oh, it's so That's small. That's the hard one. Click on, um, oh, oh. click on like one of the. Why is everything so small? There you go. Like, look at Andrea. Which one is she? She's oh, down in the, the front, looking elderly. What? Her mouth open? <laughs> yes. That's so you couldn't see as many crow's feet oh, yeah. next to her mouth. That's I mean, she was. Idea. It's crazy. She was so old. Press Command Plus. You see the command? Yeah. And then do plus. There it is. There do it plus is. brothers. Look how much older she looks than everyone, okay? They all look like kids. Look at, uh, what's his name? The guy that passed. We're being so, like, polite about people that passed away. We keep saying passed away. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's his name? Dylan. What's his name? Luke Perry. Luke Perry. He looks a little older. He does look very old. But she was, like, 30, in her what's, 30s. What's and everyone else was a teenager. And I used to be annoyed by it. I used to be like, oh, it's so annoying that they're trying to pass her off as a teenager. And now I'm like, no kids should be child stars. They're all up. Oh, yeah. Look, yeah. This one. look how much older she is. <laughs> Doesn't she look like their teacher? Yeah. <laughs> look at Luke Perry. That guy's 35 years old. <laughs> but Brian Austin Green was actually young. Like, Who's you can the tell guy in the actually... back? That's Ian Ziering. Is he supposed to be a kid too? Yeah. He was that in guy's got, he's got a receding hairline. No, he's just blonde. And the light's hitting him. <laughs> and the sun is... He's unfortunately uh, blonde. <laughs> you know, the kind where it's like, just be a ginger. Yeah. Early. Yeah, he, was, he really grossed me out, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, like it's the babysitter or mom, right? I know. Look at her body. She had like an older woman's body. Totally. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to vote for only adults playing children. I'm tired of it. These kids aren't... Guys, right. write in a vote right now. In the comments, should only adults play children? Because, and also that Linklater movie, um, Boy. Boyhood? Boyhood, boy. <laughs> boy toy? That should never have happened. That showed us how disgusting teenagers, teenagers are disgusting. <laughs> that kid was disgusting looking. He is all pimply and nasty. <laughs> His voice was like this. It was like, ew. You're supposed to be like... Playing video games at that age. Yeah. You're not supposed to be on TV. He was disgusting. I was like, ew. Get a 30-year-old to play him. Well, you can't tell how a cute kid is how a cute kid's going to grow up. It could grow up anyway. Very rarely as a cute kid, a handsome actor. <laughs> Very rarely. Well, you don't like Lip Nicky? Don't talk. Yeah, I'm friends with him. Are you? And so I'm asking. He's an interesting looking <laughs> he bounced, fellow. But he came full circle. Yeah. He had that weird stage, though. He wasn't. Okay. Am I right or am I wrong? I trolled him on MySpace. We made <laughs> up on a podcast. On inspiration. <laughs> I, can't, I can't go there. <laughs> I love the Nikki, the lip Nikki. But, you know, 
he's half lip, he's half Nikki, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm feeling very like they're not uh, Haley Joel Osmond. It's just not. What is one child actor that ended up handsome? Joseph Gordon Levitt. Um, Doogie Howser guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what are you gay? Ooh. The gay guy? Yeah, I think gay? he's gay, right? Ooh. Are you gay? I'm gay, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm big gay. Gay guy? Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Ryan Gosling technically was. Oh, yeah. Ryan Gosling's a little bit fillered up now. It's, it's kind of weird. I know. It's, it's a little weird. It's weird to see on women, too, but to see on men. When I see a man with his lips done, like our waiter today had his lips done. Did you notice that at Mel's? I didn't notice. It's weird to see lip filler in a man, and it, it's all over. Guys, don't get lip filler if you're a man. Or just get it. Get it, <laughs> but it's just, no, I'm going to be going. <laughs> so Gosling's like very like, because he had kind of an asymmetrical face, and I think he tried to get it like evened out. But it was cool that it was asymmetrical. It's weird to not look the way you looked before. I was talking to, who was I talking to? I was in the green room talking to, oh, Tim and to Eric Griffin. I was like, what if I just got my boobs done? Just, I've just been a girl that's always had small tits. It's never gotten anything done. Like, what if I just took the shift and I just started getting work done and I just did it. I just like went for it. And Eric was like, it's weird. It's weird for you to do it now. Cause it is, it's like weird to be known as a thing and then completely different. Is it weird? Todd wants me to get a boob job. Or is it cool? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get a boob job? The thing is, your boobs are fine the way they are, one. Fine the way and they are? two. I was really expecting more of like a, they're amazing. <laughs> they're perfect, so perfect. Fine the way they are. Look who's going black, baby. <laughs> and two, I feel like if you got a boob job, it would be one of the ones that look like you just got like, Two balloons jammed in there, you know what I mean? When you said your mediocre memories are minimally good. <laughs> you lost it. You lost a good one. <laughs> no, I like having little boobs. I never imagined having big boobs. We just were at, we, I never go to pools. And when you go to pools, you see so many fake boobs now. I've seen a hundred, okay, I haven't been to a pool in 20 years. I went to two pools. I've seen 10,000 boob jobs. I know. And now I'm going, I think I like boob jobs. But the thing is, fake boobs look good in pools. Well, that's about it. <laughs> 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 they look good in pools. They look good in schools. But that's Todd, about you've it. you've made a few of those type of jokes. <laughs> what? Enough. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you, the wait, teachers. Enough that I'm going to need you to get baptized <laughs> or come out as a Christian real soon. Should I get baptized? There were a couple other things I want. Oh, we have to do our, um, we have a friendly competition. Oh, I wanted oh, to yeah, say what my sad, wait, I want to do for the segment of sad, um, sad brags. Let's my sad, sad brag. brags is I made $2 billion in coins on my slot machine game. <laughs> What the hell up is this goddamn cactus? Sometimes I'll just be like, Todd, I just made two billion coins. Like, it's so exciting. <laughs> two billion gems. Gems. All okay, right, what so guys. For? Oh, so we were, we were, Todd and I were doing a friendly competition in bed earlier to see who could hold their breath longest. And then we went to a, a health food store and we found these things. So now we want to see who can boost and hold their breath the longest. So this is called a boost oxygen. Should we do just regular hold our breath first and then with the boost? It literally, Let's I think they just sold us a breath. can, an empty can for uh, $12. It's very light. <laughs> you don't know if this bitch has been done. Let's just do regular before boost. Okay. Pre-boost, pre-boost, hold our breath. Okay. And see how much this helps. Hold on. We're going to hold our breath on camera? Yes, we're going to hold our breath on camera. And you guys hold your breath too. So. So, okay. <laughs> Ready, set, breathe in. I did it weird. I did it weird. I didn't hold it in right. 
All right, she did good. You did good. You don't got to prove anything to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm about to try this. Not yet. <laughs> She's still holding her breath, okay. I wanted to see how long it could go. I'd actually, the clock turned off. But <laughs> <laughs> it just stopped. It's now she's on timer instead of stopwatch. Um, but I wanted to see if this would improve. There's no competition if we're not timing it. We'll just see who can I just want to taste it first. Oh, let's do it for real. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, it got me good. Dude, that's that sh dog. <laughs> Dude, I feel f good. <laughs> Dude, I feel energized up here. Yeah, I'm gonna get this every day. Software update. That's that good. <sighs> what is this supposed to do? It's oxygen. It's for your brain. Wait, okay, please mask under your nose and over your mouth. Press trigger and activate flow. Breathe deeply through mouth. Repeat three to four times, or as desired. Hold your nose, yeah. <laughs> That's that good sh huh? It's nasty, and it's weird. This is like as bad as your, your mice-flavored ice. Randy's kind of weirded out by Randy, want some? Curious. You want some of this sh Hi, sweet. <laughs> Boy, you want to say bye to everyone? Let me see goodbye if I ordered anything else I needed to So about. long to you, my friends. The Sandlot goodbye. kid got in trouble. This is all, just, all child stars are basically. He threw a dumbbell at someone's head, which also sounds a lot like a that head? lesbian movie. I think so. That's it. These are, guys, I do not recommend. Ready? I thought this goodbye. was going to do something. Farewell. To you, my friend, so long, farewell, until we meet again, uh, goodbye, farewell, well, to you, my friend. So what is that from? Out of the Box. Out of what the is Out box? of the Box? It's a kid's show on Disney that played when we were younger. Oh my God. Disney or Disney? All right, guys, <laughs> comment below if you think there's homoerotic things going on in Disney. Here, before we sign off, do this. Double. Um, double. All right, I'll do it. I'm about to double with a different ethnic group, Ready? if you know what I mean. Ready? Don't do it up your nose, Todd. Do it up your arse. <laughs> do it up your arse. You no, know they have oxygen bars where they I'm put gonna them put up I'm going to put it on my nose. butt. Give it to me. Put it in your queef. <laughs> Wait. Ooh, that's delightful. <laughs> that felt nice. That actually felt really good. That was like that was like a reverse. That was like a reverse fart. It pushed it up in. <laughs> I thought I was gonna make some noise. That was a like, that was a trough. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Do you want to put the one that was on my butt on your mouth now? This probably smells like booty. Smells good. These things suck. They don't do anything. <laughs> I don't know what I thought they were going to do. $12, guys. 12 bucks, guys. Do we know how to spend money For or do we know how to spend money? oxygen in a can. <laughs> we kept going, I feel like we're being ripped off. Are they trying to sell us air? <laughs> All right, guys. So long. We are gonna go off air. We really do, we love each other. It's the meat and potatoes. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies and Fannies and all of the Seep and Nannies, yeah. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies and Fannies and all of the Seep and Nannies. I'm going up by Oaxaca. I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky and Randy is living. Oh, Randy, how did you feel about today's episode? Was it good? Did you like it? Did you like it outside? Did you like it like a puppuccino? Puppuccino? Did you like a puppuccino? Did you like a puppuccino? I